Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we have an in-depth guide on how to install mods for RDR2. We'll go step by step to install all of the required mods as well as install a couple of different types of mods. All the links you need will be down in the description for you to follow along. So let's get started. Alright so we have a fresh install of RDR2. No mods have been added to this so your files should look the same after a fresh install. If you're on Steam, you can check to make sure you have all the files you need and aren't missing any. If you right click on RDR2, you can go down to properties, go to installed files, and then verify integrity of game files. If there are any missing files, Steam will automatically re-download it for you. So make sure you have a clean, untouched version of RDR2. So now we need to install the required mods. If you don't install these next three mods, your game is not going to work. So right here we have Lenny's mod loader. We're going to go ahead and click on download this file. And then we're going to click on the newest one, which is the LML Beta 11. You'll be redirected to a new page and you'll see the download appear. So we have LML freshly downloaded. We're going to go into our RDR2 game directory. I'm going to double click into LML and WinRAR will open up the zipped file. In the mod loader folder, you're going to drag and drop all of these files inside of your RDR2 game directory. We're going to go back now and under mod manager, we're going to drag this whole folder inside of our RDR2 directory. Now the folder you just copied over, we're going to click inside of it and you'll see a mod manager.exe. Double click this program and the mod loader will pop up. We now need to find Red Dead Redemption 2 in our files. So click on the three dots and then find the directory you just installed this in. For Steam, if you don't know where your game directory is, you can again right click on RDR2, go over to manage and then click on browser files. So once you found it, we'll select the folder and then press the save button. You should now have a welcome to Lenny's mod loader. And if we click on the manage tab, there will be no mods installed yet. We can go ahead and exit out of this mod loader and then exit out of the mod we loaded up. Next, we have the script hook for RDR2. In order to download this file, you need to click on this download button right here. Go ahead and download and you should see the download completed in the upper right hand corner. Now we'll open up script hook and we're going to go inside of the bin. We are only going to be taking these two files. Drag and drop these files directly into your RDR2 game folder. Make sure it's the folder with the RDR2 exe file in it. This is your main game folder. That's it for script hook. That was nice and easy. Now we're going to install Rampage Trainer. This is the best trainer for RDR2 in my opinion. Now on the mod page, we're going to click on the files tab and then hit manual download. Go ahead and press download on the new screen and you should see the download appear. You don't need a premium account to download mods. You'll just have a slower download speed if you don't have a subscription to Nexus Mods. We're going to go ahead and open up Rampage and then click into the first Rampage folder. We're going to take both of these files and drag and drop into our main game directory. So you should have the Rampage folder and the Rampage ASI in the same directory as your RDR2.exe. Most mods do have a readme text file inside of the mod you just downloaded. This will always tell you how to install a mod correctly. So definitely do not skip on reading. Otherwise you run the risk of not being able to run your game or running into unexpected crashes. Next we have the mod online content unlocker. And this is a requirement for a lot of different mods. If we scroll down a bit and go under the requirements tab, if there are any mods that are required by a certain mod, you always see it in this tab. So you can see we've already installed Lenny's mod loader and we just installed the script hook. And if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see what mods are requiring this file. You can see there are quite a few mods that require the use of online content unlocker. So we'll go back up and click on the files page and then click manual download. We'll go ahead and download the file and then we'll open up the online content unlocker. You'll see right when you open up, it is a LML file, which is similar to the file we just downloaded. You can just drag and drop this file directly inside of your game directory. And then once you open up the LML folder, you should see that it has the online content unlocker folder in there. So now we have one mod installed. If we go into our mod manager folder and go to the mod manager.exe and then click on the manage button, we'll see that online content unlocker pops up. So the mod loader is recognizing our mods. So now that we have the required mods installed, we'll go ahead and download some additional mods. So the first mod is called Strawberry Hot Springs. We'll go ahead and click into the files. We'll hit manual download. Then we'll go inside of the Strawberry Hot Springs folder. Click inside of the first folder and you'll see we have another LML file. Now you could click into this file and then click into the LML in your game directory folder and you can drag this stream folder directly inside. 
any stream folder files will go directly inside of LML. Next, we have the gun tricks mod. And again, on the mod page, there's always going to be how to install instructions. And if there's key binds associated with the mod, you'll always find the controls and how to use that mod on the mod page itself. So we'll go ahead and go into the files tab and download gun tricks. When we open up the gun tricks mod, we'll go into this first folder. You'll see that it has an ASI and an any file. Usually for mods that are ASI files, you drag that directly into your game directory, which again is the folder that your rdr2.exe file is located. And if you're always unsure, make sure to check the readme. It will always tell you. Next, we'll install a visual mod called Colirium. So we'll go to the files tab and manually download. We'll go ahead and open up our weather mod. We'll click inside of the first folder, and then we're gonna open up our LML folder in our game directory. Now, since I read the install instructions, it tells us to move this folder inside of our LML directory. So now our new weather has been installed. Next, we'll do the bodyguard spawner. We'll go into the files tab and then hit manually download. We'll open up our bodyguard spawner mod and you'll see that we have four files. We're going to drag this directly into our game directory since that's what I read on the mod page. Now for any mods that come within any file, if you double click this, most of the time there are settings that you can change. So in this example, we can change the hotkey in order to bring up the bodyguard menu. If you go to this website, you'll be able to find the numbers that correlates to a keyboard key so you can change this to your liking. There's also various other options, so you can change the health of your bodyguard if you want, or even change the price. So there's a lot of configurable options for you. Bodyguard Spawner also has a Bodyguard Spawner Customs Ped text. If we open up this file, you're able to add your own custom peds. The next mod we'll install is called Bank Robberies. And since I've never downloaded this mod before, I'm gonna scroll down until I see the installation instructions. So we've already installed the script hook, and now we know that this is an ASI file, so it'll be an easy installation. We'll go ahead and click on the files tab, and then manual download. We'll open up the bank robberies mod, and then click into the first folder. As the mod page said, it's an ASI file, so we'll drag it directly into our game directory. Our last mod we'll install is called the Punisher's Attire. So we'll go to the files tab, and then manually download. Now we'll open up the Punisher's mod, and you could take this LML folder and drag it into the game directory. But I'm going to click inside of it, and you'll see that we have another stream folder. If we click inside of the stream folder, we'll see a lot of player files. Most clothing mods will look similar to this, and they'll always go into your LML stream folder. So we can just drag and drop this inside of the stream folder, and we are done. Now we'll go ahead and boot up RDR2. If you've installed everything correctly, you should be able to load in. If it's your first time installing Rampage Trainer, you see a welcome screen telling you how to control the trainer, but you can just press out of it. Now, right now we're in the epilogue as John Marston, but we have the Punisher attire that only pertains to Arthur. So we're gonna open up Rampage Trainer, go into Player, Wardrobe, Model Changer, and then we're gonna change over to Arthur. And he already spawned in with his Punisher's attire on. You can go ahead and check the Gunspin trick mod as well, which seems to be working flawlessly. So all of our mods should be working. If you're running into some issues, we can open up the game menu, go down to settings, and in the graphics settings, we want to scroll all the way down until you see the graphics API. It needs to be on Vulkan in order for a majority of the mods to work. So this usually will solve your memory error as well as lowering down some of your graphics. That could help out tremendously. Also, if your version of the game is cracked, mods are not going to work for it. So don't even try. But if you're still experiencing issues after that, you've probably installed the mods wrong. So I would suggest starting off with another clean install and then installing the mods one by one and testing them out. This is going to be the surefire way to know that you did things correctly. Hopefully this guide for how to install mods for RDR2 helped out. If you have any questions on some tricky mods that you just can't find out how to install, let me know down in the comments and then I can make another tutorial to help you out. I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if this video did help you out and we'll see you next time.